these are my new Recaro pole positions. So I have cheated a little bit. Welcome back to another KM Bills video. In today's video, I'll be working on my MX-5 and these are my new Recaro pole positions, which, will be, which we will be fitting in today's video. So I have cheated a little bit and the passenger seat is already basically finished. So I do know now that they do fit. So first thing on the list is get the hard top off and the both the seats out, just four bolts on the seat. So I want to show you how to do that, but let's get that all finished. And just like that, seats are out and I also took the steering wheel off to give me some more room in the driver's side. Just a bit of an overview of the plan. So I have got some Recaro mounts, um, but I do want to use the standard sliding rails. As my girlfriend does drive sometimes and she's a lot shorter, so I need to be able to move the driver's seat forward. I have put the passenger one on my rails, didn't necessarily need to, but I have the option now to move it back and forth. There is going to be some trimming required, mainly on the pillar where the um, seat belt post is. There's only a slight um, bit of trimming to do with the, I think it's called the tano cover that covers the heart soft top when it's down. There's a little bit of a screw or a clip that goes in there. So I just want to lob that off and then I'll have to recover it when we are finished. So first things first, get the rails off the standard seats. Just to show you what I've done on the passenger seat, I'm basically gonna replicate the same thing on the driver's seat. But what we have is the two rails and I've joined them two together using two um, three, four mil pieces of steel, pretty hefty uh, pieces of metal. So they join the two rails together. And then I have mounted the Recaro uh, rails to the seats and then the Recaro rails then sit on the just a little, um, inch or so extra that hangs over the edge of the standard rails and sits on top. It's going to take a little bit of work as I want to get these sat in the car as low as I can. With the rails and the mounts, they sit in ever so slightly higher than the standard seats and there isn't much room to play with at all. So in this seat currently, my hair just about touches the roof, um, which I can bear with on the passenger side because if I'm ever sat in it, it's not for all that long. Um, so it doesn't matter too much. But driving this every single day, I need to figure a way out of getting these an inch or so lower. And I do have an idea, so hopefully we'll make that amendment on these. So these need to be mounted on the side. They are directional. They do point, say which way points forward. For the time being, I am using things like um, two nuts together to get my spacings for now, as I am gonna 3D print some solid plastic spacings when it comes to it, or I may even have metal ones made. So for now, I'm gonna bolt these on as I do know where they, I want them to sit because these shouldn't really change much. So let's get these bolted on. The car rails are now mounted where I need them. So the plan now is to basically make the two um, metal strips that go across the middle. I may not make the back one for this one yet as I do have a different idea of what I'm gonna do to get the driver's seat sitting lower. So I'm gonna make the front one, cut them, drill all the holes, and then I'm gonna see what I can do about this back one. On the passenger seat, I have one rail at the bottom and one rail at the top, but I am gonna slightly change that design for the driver's side, and let me explain. So as I said, I actually have two rails for the passenger side. Um, this line does need to come above this rail, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap the top piece for two pieces like this. So my current issue is that on the back of the driver's seat is sitting slightly too high. So the plan is to try and drop this. So what I'm gonna try and do is basically mount this seat, this side of this uh, piece of metal, but this piece of metal here can't go any lower underneath this piece because of the center of the seat is touching. So the plan in now is basically this will replace this and that will sit just the inside of this. But what am I gonna do then is essentially weld a piece across the back there, that side down there, that side down there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it yet and see how sturdy, but I may also add a, some triangular supports this way, just to take a bit extra of the weight. It's slightly difficult for me to explain. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a bit, do a bit of a trial run, um, put these pieces in place, bolt them up and see how it looks.
So I have a little play around with um, the new shortened design of the brackets, but I just don't think it's quite going to work. So let me show you. So the purpose of the uh, shortened mount was so that I could basically get this piece sat on this rail without the spacer. But however, even if I weld this uh, metal bracket onto the um, rail itself and then the nut and bolt would be removed, I just don't have enough clearance there on the, uh, the seat to just allow me to drop this enough. So I think I'm gonna ha I'd have to run a spacer regardless. So what I may just do is I may go back to the original um, size spacer I had, which I think was a small nut, and then run the full bar across because that then makes it more sturdier because there is a little bit of play in this. Um, it's not a lot, I think it'd be enough to, to sit and be fine, but I want to go back to the original bar across there as this idea didn't really work, but sometimes it's worth trying things. Um, but then I think what I may just do then is that I have got a little bit of room, as you can see there, I'm using nuts as the spacers to bring it off the uh, the seats. I don't want to touch the seats anyway, like there, I don't want that touching because I don't want to damage the seats in any way. But what I have got there now is enough room for me to basically drill another hole further up. Um, and then I'm going to do the same on the bottom, drill a hole further up as well. I'm not sure on the bottom one yet, as I may, as I do want to tilt the seats. So I may just drill this one lower to then lower the back end of the seat. And that'll also give me more tilt, which should hopefully give me enough clearance of headspace. Hopefully then we can start trying to put it into the car. So I have the second rail now uh, drilled and cut. And I've also drilled an extra hole on the Recaro rails. So I'm just going to bolt it all together now. I'll go through them where I have spaces, where I don't. Um, and then I can start to fit it into the car. So I've now got the rail on the bottom of the seat and ready to go in. Um, this isn't the last time they'll go in, I'm going to take it back out as I may have to do some trimming but I'll have to see what that looks like um, and also I want to tidy up the bottom, maybe add some, look online and see if I can add Loctite but add some Loctite to some of the bolts to stop them coming loose from vibrations and I also have to get the passenger one but let's get the seat in. seat is fully in and it actually is fitting a lot better this side than it is on the uh, passenger side as you can see there's not really much uh, issue there because I've actually had a bit of a test fit and I can actually reach the pedals fine there so I don't really need to go any back any more than that and also this side there is clearance whereas on the passenger side for some reason it's quite tight here and in order to go further back, I don't know if it's because I think it's because the footwell actually is the ECU sits behind that. There's a panel underneath the carpet, so you have to put the seat further back than the driver's side in order to feel a bit more comfortable. So as we can see there, then on the passenger side when I fit it, I have done a bit of a test fit. But what I think I might do is see if I can get it to work without that trimming and just buy a new plastic panel. So fairly successful. I thought the driver's side was going to be a lot more difficult than the passenger side as I have had some issues with the passenger side. But I think the passenger footwell must just be larger, obviously, to allow more room for the driver. I am sweating today. It is really warm at the unit and outside. Um, but overall, really successful. So I'm going to get the steering wheel on and then test fit the hard top to make sure, obviously, all the roof clears. I can't see there being any issue, but it's more the clearance of... If, it's if I'm touching my head or if I somehow need to get the seat lower because if I'm uh, my head's touching constantly then that's probably going to be a bit of an issue but uh, yeah get the steering wheel on try the hard top and see what happens hard tops on and steering wheel is fitted it's a little bit snug on the head still um, but worst case is what I might have to do is I might just have to sacrifice the starlight roof lining um, as I have got a board on the inside of this which comes even lower than the normal hardtop roof. On the passenger side, it was the same, quite snug, and then we tried it with the soft top up, and the soft top is miles of clearance. Um, so the hardtop is just generally lower. Um, so I may just have to sacrifice the uh, 
starlight roof line in or see if I can get this roof to just be a bit closer to the ceiling but otherwise generally happy I can you know the seating position for here it feels really good um, there's all clearance on the doors it doesn't feel any it doesn't feel crammed but all I'm going to do now is just drive it for a couple of days see how it feels if there's anything I need to adjust if I need to move it left or right or or any of that um, I think this could be an issue is the height so I may have to drop it slightly or somehow maybe tilt the seat even more because as, as you tilt you'll get further away from uh, from the ceiling so that's another option but I don't know we'll see what happens I'll drive it for now and then uh, come back with any uh, amendments so after a couple of days of driving with the uh, the seats found a few little issues um, they are really comfy completely exceeded my expectations um, but I think what I want to try and do is tilt them slightly so what I might do is lift them on the front mounts lift them up one slot my only concern is with that is my legs are fairly close to the steering wheel already they were fairly close as it was before with the standard seats but I don't want to go too close but on that note being further away I am going to trim the driver's side as I would like to go back um, an extra click or two on the rails just because I'm, I'm a bit too close to the steering wheel um, so I'm probably going to do the same on this side as what I've done to that side it is going to look ugly for now but I am going to come up with some sort of solution whether or not I 3D print something or fabricate it out of metal or anything but I will make a new cover for the pieces I've trimmed off um, I may be able to modify some of the plastics I already have. So today's plan is to try and tilt the seats once, see how that feels first, and then to trim this driver's side. So both the seats are back in and raising them fronts made a massive difference. It's nicer to just lean back in the seat a little bit more than being too upright. I'm slightly further away from the steering wheel, but I am still going to trim that pillar. Um, so let me get the seat back out and I'll show you exactly why I'm going to be trimming. So this is the area I'm going to be trimming. What I may lose is I may lose the latch that is on the roof box, which um, latches onto this. But... I'm not going to get rid of this section here, so what I may do is just make a bracket which basically bolts directly to the chassis there and bolts to the um, roof box and then all i got to do is undo these two bolts to take the roof box off. Right, so the, uh, the thing in question is this section here. Basically there's a small section which is this corner in order to, so I can basically have the seat in this position here. So with the bracket off you can kind of see a little bit more now, it's basically going to be trimming the plastic where I need it and then underneath there's a small section of metal which is what this bolt goes to so now I get the plastic off you can see how there's just this bulge on the top which I need to remove so it's basically just removing this outer kind of skin here and as you can see there's all of this structure is still remaining um, and you can also see there is actually another skin underneath which I'm not going to go down that far because obviously you have the soft top mechanism here which bolts there so there's not really much metal to remove um, it's not going to really reduce the uh, structure by any means because it's pretty much all going to be remaining as is apart from this little section here. Um, there's a double skin underneath and all the structure now still is underneath. As long as I don't go anywhere ne near these spot welds and these spot welds, it's just removing this section here. So what I'm going to do now is just I'm going to uh, take a look at the other side and try and match it and get this removed with the angle grinder. So just to show you the amount of material I've removed, as you can see, I've just trimmed down the seam there, across the hole, and up, leaving the spot well in the top right corner. I have then tapped the edges in just so I've got no sharp edges. I've got to kindly tidy it up with a file. But my plan is now, or as you can see as well, sorry, is that there was a hole here for these two. But what I've done is I've basically trimmed down and across, because it's surprising how much this corner sticks out. So as you come up further here, I originally trimmed just this piece but then the plastic was sticking out and i think the plastic's going to rub so i've basically removed all the way down removed a lot of excess and what i'm going to do is i'm going to carpet all the way up into here 
carpet across and carpet all the way across here there'll be a bit of a void in behind um, which you're not going to see anyway and then carpet all the way across and then cut the holes out so basically that it will be the plastic trim and then all this will be carpeted so you won't really tell and also the carpet will protect the chairs against all of the sharp edges if i leave any on accident so i'm going to find a piece of uh black material to carpet this and then i'm going to get it trimmed i also then tidied this edge up as it did look a little bit odd it was where i cut it so i've just trimmed this edge as well to make it look tidier i'll file it all down at the end before i put it all back together but let's get this carpeted so that's basically that finished what i do want to get is i'm probably going to 3d print a piece which fits along here covers the whole top of this um you do have this piece as standard but when that goes on that basically goes back to exactly where you trimmed off um so yeah so i basically want to replicate this where it comes over the edge and i also do want to get some rubber strip in to go on the edge of this here and squeeze that on there so that finishes that off nicely and then also a piece of rubber strip in that will go on there and finish that but as far as the trimming concerned that looks pretty uh good considering um it's still not finished um and also the seat is pretty much going to be here anyway so you're not going to see most of this so for me it's just more making it look as good as possible for shows so with the extra pieces i want to do with the cover on the top edging pieces on there and edging pieces on there it's going to look a lot better again i've basically got to do the same again on the passenger side now i have trimmed most of it but i'm basically going to do exactly what i did on this side because i did some different stuff this side to that side so i'm going to do that all with the car in the open as i've got it parked up against the uh, curtains at the minute and that will be it so what i'm going to do is get this finished and then i'm going to get outside once both seats are back in and show you how they look so the seats are now fully fitted and fully completed bar one tiny step so let's take a look so i've been driving with them now for about a week and i am absolutely over the moon as i said earlier on they exceeded my expectations massively at the end of the day they are bucket seats so i didn't expect them to be all that comfy but these are incredibly comfy as you can see they fit in pretty well with the minor adjustments we did do but you may have noticed i have redone my door cards with a sort of race style-esque door card trim the center and got a new gate to surround but there's one thing i want to do and that is to retrim the centers of the seats as you can see these are simply just cushions so i want to get these retrimmed in the same material that i got in the doors but if you don't see the retrim seats in this video then make sure you go and drop a subscribe and catch it in a later video but for today's video that is it we'd appreciate if you could drop any feedback in the comments maybe drop a like hopefully you enjoyed the video and we will catch you in the next one